Another year, another record set for state overtime. Every time there's an increase, it means more of your tax dollars are used to pay for it. Over the past year, one of the highest increases in overtime came from a department that you may not expect. Yeah, that's right. In tonight's New York State Exposed report, Brett Davison takes a closer look at why the gaming commission's overtime costs went up 34 percent. Brett. Scott and Janet, they're not the only agency running up overtime costs, but they are among those that had the biggest increases in overtime hours and earnings. Now imagine trying to cover those labor costs if you were running your own business. Here at ACAD Design in Rochester, employees are busy manufacturing high-tech machinery. And owner Tom Sheen says managing the overtime of his 10 employees is critical to the company's success. Anytime you're, pu you're putting somebody in over or having them work overtime, uh, the problem is, is that you don't quote for overtime. So you're losing dollars every time you do that. But according to a report by the New York State Controller's Office, the state paid out a record amount of overtime to its workforce last year, $716 million. We are continually seeing overtime go up in many of these agencies, and the cost to taxpayers is going up as well. I reviewed the report, and one of the agencies stood out, the New York Gaming Commission. And they're off. It oversees horse racing, the casinos, and the lottery. And last year, its employees put in more than 18,000 overtime hours. That translates to 864,000 of your tax dollars, a small number compared to some of the bigger state agencies. But it was the percentage increase that caught our attention. Overtime pay jumped 34% in one year. What would happen with your business if you had an increase in overtime of 34% year to year? Um, there would be some decisions to be made. We more than likely would go out of business. According to salary information I obtained, most of the biggest overtime earners in the Gaming Commission are inspectors. I wanted to speak with the executive director of the commission and even came here to their offices in Schenectady, but nobody would meet with me to answer my questions. A spokesman did send an email saying, quote, overtime increases in 2015 were due to allocation of staff to temporarily fulfill our roles at new or expanded Indian gaming facilities and address sales representative coverage issues in various marketing regions. We feel that this is a very significant misuse of funds. Nelson Aquilano has spent the past 40 years counseling people with gambling addictions. He's also on the board of the Coalition Against Gambling in New York, and he feels that overtime money would be better used treating problem gamblers. We've always said gambling is a losing proposition to everybody in the state. Uh, I think this just continues to prove that. The governor's office defended the state's record use of overtime. They pointed out that overall the state workforce has shrunk by 9,000 employees since 2011. But according to the controller's office, the gaming commission actually had more employees last year than it did the year before. The solution is, is to stop, put the brakes on, do a real analysis of why is it happening, and then figure out what the solution is and implement it. Also, the state uh, last year granted licenses to three commercial casinos. But if there's concern about all that overtime, we didn't hear about it at today's monthly commission board meeting, which was webcast online. Of course, if you think they should be better controlling those costs, you can let them know. The commission's executive director is Robert Williams. His office number is 518-388-3400. Scott and Janet. Well, Brett, 34% is quite a big jump. Which agency had the biggest increase in overtime? Well, that'd be state police, which saw a 66% jump in overtime earnings, but that is more easily explained. A large part of that was the manpower necessary to track down those two escaped prisoners over the summer. Yeah, we remember that. Mm -hmm. Brett Davidson with our report tonight. Thank you.